What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam, and today I'm finally back with a brand new lifeguarding video for you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, I make a bunch of lifeguarding content about how to pass the course, how to pass the pretest, basically everything you guys need to know about being a successful lifeguard. So definitely consider subscribing and liking the video if you're new to the channel. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about lifeguarding in the fall. Should you lifeguard in the fall? Is it worth your time? Is it good paying? Is it flexible hours? A lot of things depends on what you look for, but basically this video is gonna cover if it's even worth looking for a position in the fall to lifeguard. So right off the bat, I have some pretty good experience lifeguarding in the fall. So what I do is I go to school from like 8 a.m. to two in the afternoon, and then at two, I would immediately go from my high school to the YMCA, and I would work from like three o'clock to like seven or from 4.30 to eight. I would work these really easy night shifts where I'd sit there, watch people swim laps because typically like swim team was there and they're all great swimmers. So I would just watch a swim team practice and just sit on the chair or I'd go to the small pool and watch people do lessons and teach lessons. Like typically there would be like their parents in the water with them, like little kids and it'd be an instructor. So it's very laid back very chill lifeguarding experience. Now the reason why I would say lifeguarding in the fall is good is because number one is you can continue to do the things that you do. For example, go to school, even if you have like another job, you can go to that job still and you can incorporate little bits of hours whenever you want. So it's not like a nine to five set in stone type job. It's a very easy, relaxing way to get money. Now in terms of monetary, obviously lifeguards don't get paid crazy money in the fall compared to the summer because the demand for swimming in the fall is lower compared to the demand of swimming in the summertime. In the summer, pools are packed, summer camps are packed. They always need a pair of eyes, an extra person who's skilled and is trained as a lifeguard to be there, be present, to make sure everything goes smoothly. In the fall, yes, there's people that love to swim. I remember looking back, I would see the same people swim laps every single day, every Tuesday and Thursday night that I worked, and every like Saturday morning that I worked, and I would be there. Very similar experience the entire time. However, you're a lifeguard, you're responsible, you still have to step up to the plate anytime anything happens. My advice to you is the monetary is not gonna be as much as the summer. However, the working experience, the environment, it's gonna be a lot more laid back, meaning you're not gonna be working as hard as compared to a, like a full pool in the summertime when the sun's blazing and like people are dying to get in. Now, one thing you guys need to focus on is when you're working in the fall, yes, you wanna pick the times in the day and the days of the week that work for you, but you wanna find a job that's not only convenient to your location, to where you go to school, and where you work full time, depending on where you are in your life. But you also wanna pick a job that pays you throughout the entire time you're there, not just when you're on the chair. For example, if you have a break, or if you're like switching pools, or if you're on 30 minutes, off 30 minutes, you wanna find a job that pays you throughout the entire time that you're there. So if you sign in at 4 p.m. and you sign out at eight, you get four hours of pay, versus if you're guarding from like one hour and then you're off an hour, you only get one hour of pay. That's how they really like finesse you. You can't get into that situation because it becomes really competitive and getting on the chair and guarding, which means you're constantly guarding, there's no breaks, and you like you can't even use the bathroom. You're just like so focused on being there so you can make money. So my key tips for you guys, find a place that's convenient, that's laid back, that pays decently well, and pays you on the chair, and allows you to incorporate flexible hours where you can do other things and not be fully committed. I wouldn't recommend working the entire day from like 9 a.m. to closing. I would recommend working some nights, maybe some mornings, and kind of mix it in with your fall routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Definitely like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next Life Garden video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.